Hey, Matt, good morning to you. Another busy night here in Washington. The president's health secretary, Tom Price, was also confirmed. And President Trump today is digging in, vowing he's going to prevail before the Supreme Court after that federal appeals court unanimously refused to reinstate the president's order, temporarily halting visitors and immigrants from seven countries. First the ruling, then the reaction. President Trump blasting the court's finding as political. This is just a decision that came down, but we're going to win the case. Mr. Trump initially taking to Twitter, writing in all caps, see you in court, the security of our nation is at stake. The response from Washington Governor Jay Inslee, a Democrat whose state challenged the ban. We just saw him in court. He lost. The president's former rival, Hillary Clinton, noting the three judges' unanimous ruling, tweeting simply, three to nothing. The appeals court said the president's travel ban violates the constitutional rights of people who are already here on visas, failing to give them any chance for a hearing, as well as the rights of people who traveled overseas and want to come back. Addressing the government's claim of presidential authority over the borders that can't be second-guessed by judges, the court said, quote, there is no precedent to support this claimed unreviewability. But it did not rule on the state's claim that the immigration order discriminated on the basis of religion by singling out Muslims. That will be left to a lower court. Still, former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper warns the ban may be damaging. I also worry about this creating a recruiting tool for uh, the extremists. Mm -hmm. uh, that they, that this, they will point to this as proof that there is, in fact, a war on uh, all Muslims. Just hours after being sworn in, Attorney General Jeff Sessions' Justice Department said it's reviewing the decision and considering its options. Meanwhile, top Trump aide Kellyanne Conway is facing accusations of violating federal ethics laws. Go buy Ivanka stuff. The top Republican on the House Oversight Committee, Jason Chaffetz, firing off a scathing bipartisan letter to the White House and the Government Ethics Office after Conway's high-profile pitch this plugging Ivanka Trump's fashion line on Fox I'm News. Gonna give, I'm going to give a free okay. commercial here. Go buy it today, everybody. <laughs> the Oversight Committee is going to call out wrong when we see it, and, and clearly this was wrong. Federal rules bar government employees from using their public office for private gain. Conway acknowledging the committee's letter late Thursday, insisting her boss has her back. At some point in your life, you ought to have a boss who treated me the way that the President of the United States treated me today. Conway's comments coming a day after President Trump attacked Nordstrom on Twitter for announcing it would no longer carry his daughter's products. A decision the company says was based on poor performance. Earlier, Press Secretary Sean Spicer wouldn't say what, if any, consequences Conway might face. Kellyanne has been counseled, um, and that's all we're going to go with. A source close to the president tells me that Mr. Trump disagreed with his own press secretary's use of that word counseled, telling aides that he thought it made it sound like Kellyanne Conway was in trouble. Today, the president's going to hold a news conference here with the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. And during a call with China's President Xi Jinping last night, President Trump said the U.S. would honor the one China policy that says that Taiwan is a part of China. That's significant. It's a reversal of his earlier suggestion that it should be on the negotiating table. Matt and Maria. All right, Peter Alexander, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.